Manitoba. Ah. The Rusty Report. I have a journalism degree from Texas Tech University. Yes, the Texas Tech University. And Sean Hannity did not even graduate from college. He dropped out from drinking beer. Google it. Or read the stupid book where he brags about it. Anyway, we have the real news from real journalists with real degrees. <laughs> Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke said that Netanyahu is a racist. Oh, yes, Beto! Beto says Israeli president, who had, has an election today, Netanyahu, heads a racist party where they talk about dirty Arabs, and he already has this big fucking wall. Have you heard of it? Beto says he loves the Israeli people, but their leader, Netanyahu, does not reflect their will. He is captured by far-right forces. He is going to annex the West Bank. There will never be peace. Oh, snap, Beto! Seriously, if that goes viral, Netanyahu is toast. Ha ha, Beto. He can influence, Beto can influence a contentious close foreign election with ease. Beto Frank O'Rourke. Watch as Beto goes viral in Israel and boom, Netanyahu loses today. And some other guy is in charge. Who the fuck is that? I'd Google it for you, but there's no time. Beto. Beto happens fast. Do not blink, people. Beto. I gave him $50 the first day. Full disclosure, uh, Beto only had $6,099,950, so I gave him $50 so he could report $6.1 million his first day. He also reported $9.4 million his first 18 days as compared to Bernie's $18 million in six weeks. So do the math. Just Google it. Somebody already did the math for you. Yes, Beto is getting a lot more donations per day than anyone, including Bernie Sanders. Beto! Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Medic alert! Medic alert! What's Bernie up to? I don't know. Bernie Sanders, he has become like that guy on Survivor now who plots too much. He's, and he's terrible at challenges, especially puzzles, you know? And he's going, we need to vote out the weakest link. And we're all like, yeah, look in the mirror, buddy. Oh, shit. It's Joe Biden. Get out of my bathroom mirror, Joe Robin, that creepy Uncle Biden. Ah! And Bernie's plotting strategy all the time, so you can't trust him. And where are his tax returns? Oh, they're boring. My wife does them. You wouldn't want to see them. No, I want to see your taxes, Bernie. Your boring wife prepared taxes. No one, and I mean no one, can avoid showing their taxes. Two things are certain in life. Death and the full release. The full release of the tax returns. No one is special in that regard. Believe me, that's written in stone. Bernie is too much strategizing now and all his minions. His minions, do you realize Bernie minions, I'm talking to you, that you are working for a guy who was an independent who is now running as a demon crat. So he's no longer independent. And so by the distributive property, y'all are no longer independent. If you ever were. But for the 2020, the Democrats offer a chance. I think Beto should form an immediate alliance with Mayor Pete, Pete Buttigieg. They could name their alliance the No, You Be the VP Alliance. Maybe even pretend to bring Joe Robinett Biden into the alliance just to get his vote. And then we can blindside him and Bernie. <laughs> Hopefully they don't both. Medic alert, medic alert, help me, medic alert. We'll be right there, Mr. Sanders. No, this is creepy Uncle Joe. I've fallen and I can't get up. Unless creepy Uncle Joe has a hidden immunity idol. Stay tuned, subscribers. 
Only here at the Rusty Report do you get the actual breaking news. What else? Okay, real news. Felicity Huffman has pled guilty in the college admission scandal. She wrote a very heartfelt letter of apology. So we know for sure now she is the one who hired that cheesy prison stylist consultant guy. Did anyone see that? She hired this guy to help her. Either her or Lori Lachlan did, but it's clearly her now. It's a company that helps you get a lighter sentence, and it's analogous. It's exactly like, in fact, the original crime, which was hiring someone to help you cheat. She hired this guy, and he's on MSNBC for some reason. He goes, well, what we do at prison consulting is to facilitate communication between the judge and the accused so the judge understands that the accused has done a one-time bad thing and will never do it again. Okay, and so Felicity Huffman has now hired this guy, this company, to help her cheat out of her jail time. Same as she hired the other company to Photoshop her the daughter's faces on Olympic rowing athletes, or maybe that was Lori Lachlan, so they could cheat a rowing scholarship from someone who is a real rower. So you see this beautiful heartfelt apology to all the people she might have hurt was written by this guy who she hired. Who was on MSNBC, the jail consultant fixer. My God, how much will the judge make in this case and what else? Mar-a-Lago, mara malware update. The Chinese woman who was arrested with all the cell phones in a malicious thumb drive, they checked her hotel room and, and now they say she must be a spy. She had the other laptop and nine USB drives and like five SIM cards and a bunch of fireworks, like real fireworks, artillery shells, and a scanning device that can de detect hidden cameras. Ooh. But this sounds more like one of those podcasters to me. Worse than a spy, those people that do podcasts and do crazy things to get attention to their podcast and all that. I am in America and I, I, am, I am walking into King's Palace. <laughs> Except with a better accent, obviously. I don't do it very well. Stay tuned for more. <coughs> the real news here is not that we need to investigate this Chinese podcasting, babe. But what we need to investigate is Mar-a-Lago. Holy crap, there's so much shenanigans going on there. It requires its own Mueller investigation, people, with Robert Swan Mueller, special counsel, in the Mar-a-Lago investigation show. I'd watch that. Like a three-year deal with the first season, then a long break, then the big finale, Game of Mar-a-Lagos. Where can I pitch that? Is that, do you pitch these special counsel investigations to the chief of staff or what? No, wait, that's Congress who authorizes. Wait, who is the chief of staff today anyway? It was Mitch Mulvaney, but that was earlier. This is now. I want to know who's the current chief of staff of the Trump administration. Not the guy who was just chief of staff yesterday. That's bullshit fake news. It's got to be someone else by now. He's got to be long gone by now, Mitch Mulvaney. Did you hear what he said about taxes? He should have kept his mouth shut. We are going to invite him to Mar-a-Lago. They're going to invite Mitch Mulvaney to Mar-a-Lago and take him to the back room where Jared keeps his Saudi Tiger team. And <laughs> what else? Seriously, I got the Rusty Report, y'all. It's the only thing approaching reality, Walter Cronkite style, trustworthy news before the giant rending of the space time continuum and, and the Large Hadron Collider caused the news to become news personalities showing clips of each other saying things they think are stupid. So Jake Tapper shows Sean Hannity going blah, blah, blah. And Jake Tapper says, that's stupid. See that? Or he does a stupid cartoon or something. Not your wheelhouse, Jake. And if you go and watch Hannity to see how stupid he really is, he's going, here's a clip of Jake Tapper saying I'm stupid. And here's his stupid cartoon. And when the clip ends, Hannity goes, 
This socialist agenda, can you believe that, folks? Did you just see that? Then Hannity will show a clip from CNN where, like, Don Lemon is going, the President of the United States is racist. And Hannity's like, uh, Don Lemon is a racist. Then Chris Cuomo shows that clip when he's doing his smoochy, smoochy hand over to Don Lemon. Get a room, seriously. And Comrade Cuomo's going, ooh, Don Lemon, Hannity just called you a racist for saying the president is racist. What do you say, my friend, my compadre, my mi amore, my everything, my one true love? Well, Chris, and back at you, except you, you got some food on your face right there, Chris. Yeah, that's it, buddy. You can't hide that barbecue we just had in bed together. <laughs> Well, if Hannity thinks I'm racist, he's racist because when I said the president was racist, I backed it up with facts. And later on, Hannity plays that clip of Don Lemon saying all that and goes, this socialist agenda once again. Can you believe that, folks? Did you just see that? Here, I'll play it again. Click. It's really quite sad seeing Sean Hannity try to switch to comedy so he can be like his buddy, but... And it's a big butt, a huge big buddy butt. Yes, Sean Hannity is doing bits now, and it is becoming increasingly more painful. He does not have the delicate touch required for true comedy the way individual one does. Sean Hannity is faking comedy. And he is jealous of Greg Gutfield, who has a purported comedy discussion show on Fox. That is a bunch of lazy people slunk down into chairs. I don't know if they're all high on marijuana, but they always have this big fat guy there who looks like he's holding for sure. But they're all slumped down in chairs, this Greg Gutfield show, and he does this right-wing comedy, or he calls it comedy. They do things that are written in a sort of antiquated joke structure anyway, and they pause for laughs. And they have a crew that laughs, but they all, they're like four or five people, and they laugh at each other, so they provide their own laugh track, which is a money saver. But the writing on the Gut Greg Gutfield show is horrible. They need a new staff and an improv coach to teach them about yes and, and all that, because as far as I can see, their comedy is all based on no but, instead of yes and, and that's just a recipe for disaster right there. What else? G4 by Gopa. Have you seen this commercial? It's a new 24-hour full dental implant procedure that costs surprisingly less than the other guys. Yes, Dr. Gopa has developed a new technique and in one day he will have it permanently implanted into the upper plate. Yes, into the very marrow of your skull, some kind of new patented secret alien metal meteorite implant tooth stakes. G4 by Gopa. Why would you name a tooth implant factory Gopa? Gopa. Who knows? What else? Individual one has fired another shot. He has now fired his secret service director. So I'm no, not sure who all is left. It's like him and Jared and who else? Stu is gone. Mitch McConnell's longtime assistant. Stu has retired. He's not Madonna. He's not Gallagher. He's Stu. What else? I told y'all he stole that whole you're fired thing from me. That episode at Stick Tech where Dale becomes the human resources manager because he can fire people with absolutely no trace of human emotion. And in fact, with a smug, self-righteous sense of ghoulish glee. Sessions, you're fired. Call me, you're fired. So he stole that from me. His show started like... Sorry, the reverb was a little high. <laughs> he stole that. His show started like three years after that episode aired. I need a good lawyer. Is Michael Avenatti available? Creepy porn lawyer? Or maybe creepy Uncle Joe? Is he a lawyer? But no, he's actually creepy. Maybe I can get... Well, I know. I can get Alex Jones's lawyer here in Austin, but he gave me his card the other day at Lucy's Fried Chicken. Mmm, Lucy's. Over on South Congress in my neighborhood, but I don't know, this guy's really good, but he's more about getting people off like a fixer. I need an Avenatti to sue the shit out of someone. 
Okay. Oh, gotta get out. Here's an update on the Kirsten Nielsen res resignation. He has gone nuts! Individual one wants to not only reinstate family separations of migrants seeking asylum, he wants to expand family separation. And as always, this is per orders from Stephen Miller, the evil lackey nerd genius counsel and speechwriter seeking revenge for never getting a date. The one Omar just called a white nationalist. So for individual one, He's great. Well, we'll build more places and cages and arms and food, and it's a big business. Huge! He wants to fly the separated children further away in Max 8 Boeing 737s. So right there, that seems suspicious. But this whole family separation thing was already ruled illegal, and the kids were ordered to be reunited immediately. He is hell-bent. I mean, you wonder why Pence wants to go to the moon immediately right now and with no delay. He is hell-bent on, he does not like judges, right? So they better watch out. And he wants anyone, he's hell-bent. Anyone coming to the United States, give me your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free, those people. He wants them to know that he will kidnap their kids and they may never see them again like the mob for real but a bad TV version that is being used on real people in the guise of this border crisis. National emergency people, stay tuned for more.